That rumor had to be closed immediately after only a few landings after a new tarmac renewal. But what could have gone so wrong that the airport operator had to shut down on my 07 left and 25 right, resulting in 120 flight cancellations and 500 hours of delay? But to understand what went wrong here, we have to talk about runways for a bit. Runways have to withstand a lot of forces. Having the takeoff weight of an aircraft, for example, an A380, max takeoff weight 575 tons. Then we've got harsh weather conditions, different seasons. And then we've got the wear and tear of tires with a speed up to 275 kilometers per hour, or for all my fellow freedom people out there, 161 miles per hour. And you always have to keep in mind that those tires standing still up to the point of touchdown, and then they have to withstand the load of a max landing rate of 400 tons at some plane. And that's why you have to keep in mind that those runways have to be serviced and resurfaced from time to time. And that's what Fraport Airport here just there. They resurfed the 07 left and 25 right with a new anti-skid surface. But what is anti-skid? In the aviation industry, we have to separate between two parts. We've got the anti-skid system on aircraft and we've got the anti-skid surface on the runways. If you take the aircraft part here, you can basically compare it to your ABS or your anti-block system in your car. But it's not just a basic anti-block system. It's a sophisticated piece of engineering which is designed to stop hundreds of tons of an airplane without skidding and slipping on a runway. The anti-skid system is a complex arrangement of sensors, control units and hydraulic systems working in perfect harmony. It all starts with wheel speed sensors which constantly monitor the speed of each individual wheel by electromagnetic principle of sensing rotational speed. The data from these sensors is then fed onto the anti-skid control unit. The ASCU, so-called anti-skid control unit, is programmed with advanced algorithms to determine if a wheel is about to lock up. The parameters include things like the rate of deceleration of the wheel and the difference in speed between wheels. If the ASCU determines the risk of a wheel lockup, it adjusts the brake metering valve. The brake metering valve is responsible for adjusting the hydraulic pressure to the brake assembly, just enough so that there's no wheel lockup yet maintaining maximum brake pressure. Similar to the anti-skid system on aircraft, we've got the anti-skid surface on runways. The anti-skid surface on runways is there to prevent skidding and slipping right from the ground perspective. But now you may be asking yourself, how is a piece of tarmac on the ground possible to stop that huge metal bird from skidding and slipping? Well, the key lies in the texture of the surface and the materials used. These runways are designed with coarse texture to increase the friction between the plane's tires and the ground. This is extremely important during adverse weather conditions like strong rain or snow. Those conditions drastically reduce the friction between the tires and the runway, increasing the risk of hydroplaning immensely. The coarse texture of the runway mitigates that by improving water drainage and better grip. These anti-skid surfaces are often made out of a mixture of asphalt and aggregates or concrete with a broomed drag texture. Interestingly, this non-slip coating was designed to bring numerous benefits to Frankfurt Airport, increasing grip, increased durability and even reducing winter de-icing costs by 25%. It was the first time being applied to runway 07 left and 25 right. But what is the problem here since um, a lot of airports already have that surface installed and operation runs smoothly? Well, after reopening the Northwest runway, Lufthansa raised concerns about a huge tire wear on their planes. Authorities started immediate action to find out the root cause of that issue. An internal memo from Lufthansa reveals that the airline is taking immediate action. The memo states that the runway is no longer deemed safe for Lufthansa Group aircraft and the relevant authorities, DFS and Airport Authority, have been notified about this decision. The airport operator, Fraport, took immediate actions and closed down the runway again and started investigating the surface. Fraport determined that the high tire usage was due to the surface still being too rough and started smoothing it out over the duration of the day with several rollers until thorough testing deemed the runway safe for operation again. And that all happened in one day and the runway was reopened at 8.11 p.m. in the evening. Landings are still closely monitored and the investigation continues. But thankfully, Fraport acted that quick to ensure a safe summer start operation here in Frankfurt. With that said, peace. See you in the next one.